Hello, my name's Alex and I am addicted to sewing. So if you think you might be too, then welcome. Um, I have had a little bit uh, long, a longer gap in between vlogs this time because I um, have been sewing a coat that's been going horribly wrong. So I decided to just put it to one side and um, I'll come back to it later and I'll talk about it uh, if and when I ever get it sorted out. Um, but in the meantime, I thought I'd do something a little bit different this time, uh, different for me anyway, and that is a fabric haul. Because without a doubt, I have overspent on fabric uh, in the last little while. So I'm going to have to slow down a little bit or uh, we'll be on beans on toast. First, I should probably quickly tell you what I'm wearing. It is, uh, I think I mentioned before, I've had a some gifted fabric from Minerva Crafts. Uh, it is a faux suede, it's Lady McElroy. Um, I've done a blog post for them which will be on their new website in the new year. I know they're upgrading the website which is much needed. It is the uh, Mara shirt dress from Stylark Patterns and um, yeah I really it's just divine at this time of year um, mostly because it's incredibly soft. Um, and it's got a little bit of stretch, so, you know, secret pyjamas. So, on to the fabric. Um, let me just have a quick sip of coffee first. Oh, I'm on a keto diet at the moment, so I'm drinking uh, bulletproof coffee with a lump of butter in it, which I know sounds disgusting, but it's absolutely delicious. Nectar of the gods. So, um... First things first, I mentioned a couple of weeks ago that I'd made a Jarrah jumper out of um, some faux Angora from TFG Fabrics. And uh, Casey, who runs it, has a Facebook group where she puts up any pre-orders and I had pre-ordered some. Um, so that arrived. And then in the meantime, she also got some new colours and I couldn't resist some of those. So I've actually got quite a lot of this. So let me just show you what I've got. I have got this one, which is, yeah, so it's faux angora, and that is the dark green. And I don't know how much there is there, probably a couple of meters. And then this one, which is on the website as petrol, I would say it's more of a turquoise. In fact, it's even slightly more green than it's coming up on the screen there. And then the one that I couldn't resist that came in after the pre-order is the ochre. I mean, I love this colour. Um, and then I also got this one, which is denim. So I would say it's lighter than a navy blue. Not a lot, though. Um, yeah, so obviously I've got a ton of that. Um, I mean, probably way more than I need. Don't really know what I'm going to make with it all just yet, but I do want to make a, a hoodie, more of a kind of, um, I mean, if we were being pretentious, we'd call it a loungewear, um, a hoodie for slobbing around at home in. And um, I might even make some kind of, yeah, some Hudson's or some, some Hudson pants, you know, just for mooching about in. I think that would be really nice. But, I, you know, jumpers, cardigans, uh, you know, anything I can make out of this stuff because it's really lovely and I've said it before it's nice to wear it doesn't have any natural fibers in it but it doesn't feel sweaty and horrible and you know take that from a menopausal woman so that was that that all goes at five pounds for half a meter just so you know and it washes brilliantly so this is um, a fairly newish uh, Atelier Brunette uh, print it is called twig I think if not I'll put a link below um, and this is the midnight colorway and I have been looking at this ever since it came out and I just thought I really really like it um, but as you might know Atelier Brunette fabrics are not cheap and I also knew that I didn't really need it um, so I was kind of humming and hawing and you know trying to I really wanted it but then trying to be sensible and not buying it until uh, Lulu Designs, who are so delicious on Instagram, I think they're a mother and daughter, independent fabric shop, they had it on their website and they were doing a 20% off winter fabrics and this was one of them. 
and I'm afraid to say that tipped me over the edge and I couldn't resist. So I've bought it, I've pre-washed it already. Um, one of the things I was really surprised about it, and it's a, a nice surprise, is that it has, I wonder if this is going to pick up, it has got a bit of a sheen to it. I mean, not a kind of cheap, nasty shine, but a really nice sheen to it. So um, yeah, I'm really, really like that. And because it's a viscose twill, it's not too thin. Um, it's going to be really nice have to say I'm torn at the moment I'm not sure whether I'm either going to make a dress with it um, the sort of dress that I like at this time of year that I can wear kind of layers underneath if necessary or I'm, a, I'm not torn do I make a dress or do I make a shirt something like the um, what's the deer and doe shirt called I can't remember but the one I really like or something similar to that um, because either of those options are things that I could wear all year round, layer up or in the summer. Um, I haven't quite decided, but um, I don't want to leave it too long because I really like it. So that was that one. Then the other fabric that I got was from Jay, who you probably know as the Camden Stitch here on YouTube. And she has her fabric shop, which is called the Fabric Edit. And uh, yeah, so this came up and I couldn't resist it. Now, she described it as leopard print, but I'm not going to describe it as leopard print because it has been said I've bought too much leopard print. And so I'm just going to say it's an abstract. Um, and it's this, it's a kind of wine colour and it's a uh, peach skin. So I got two and a half metres of that for £10. I mean, that's a pretty good price. And when it came, which it did, I think, last week, and I've pre-washed it already, although, you know, it's polyester. I don't think it needs pre-washing, but hey-ho. Um, what I was really surprised at is the quality of it. It's really good quality. It's nice and thick. You know, sometimes with these peach skin fabrics, they can be a bit flimsy and a bit of a pain to sew with. Um, so, yeah, I'm really, really pleased with that. And, that, I mean, for that price, you can't really go wrong, can you? Um, so that was that one. The other thing I bought, which was a few weeks ago now, um, and this has been pre-washed because you, you can you can see it's all fraying here. And this I bought from Bobbins and Bolts while I was there doing a workshop because um, Gem offers a discount if you're there doing the workshop. So um, that's always a bonus. And this is Robert Kaufman flannel. I think it's called Shetland flannel. Um, and I thought it would make a really nice pair of trousers um, for the winter because I like the idea of wearing wool trousers. But as you may know, I've got dogs and um, yeah, one of them's white. And the problem with a white dog is that, you know, hair. Dog hair, it's everywhere. I even find it in the fridge sometimes. Um, so I thought actually with these, this fabric being um, nice and soft and cosy, but grey, it's got a, a herringbone um, weave. It's not even a print, is it? It's a weave. Um, but I thought this would make a really nice pair of trousers to keep you warm, but without looking like a Yeti after a day in this house. And then this weekend I popped into one of my local fabric shops which is Leon's in Cholton and I only actually went in for top stitching thread but as you know these things happen and while I was there I bought this which is a, a satin uh, it will be a poly one I'm sure um, and I really really like this colour however I also know that this colour doesn't suit me at all. It makes me look positive. Can you see? I don't know if you can. But it basically makes me look dead. Um, sort of, yes, it has a cadaverous quality to it on me. Um, but it doesn't mean that I don't love the colour. So I thought um, what I'm going to make with it is a skirt because it won't be up near my face colour wise. So that's fine. And I really, I really fancy making a longish, maybe midi or, yeah, probably midi length. Um, bias cut skirt that I can wear with a big old jumper and boots. I like that look. Um, and I had a little trawl on the internet last night, as you do, 
and I spotted that Tasuti patterns in Australia have a bias cut skirt that looks absolutely perfect. So I'm fairly sure that's what that's going to become. This I bought, it is the John Caldor Isabella, um, I think it's called Isabella Wool or something. Um, so it's it's got a stretch to it. This is the charcoal colour way. Um, and I thought that it would be great for making layering um, pieces with. So, you know, like crew neck, little crew neck top or a polo neck top, the sort of thing actually that when it gets, I mean, it's getting cold now, but when it gets a tiny bit colder, the sort of thing I'd wear under this dress just to give me a bit of warmth. Um, and I just thought, yeah, I could go and buy something like that from the shops, but why would I? And this has got, I think it's 20% wool, um, a tiny bit of elastane, and then the rest is all viscose. So there's nothing horrible in there. But um, I was also pleased because I bought it from So Essential, and they have it for £13.80 a metre. So no, it's not the cheapest fabric in the world, but I think it will be great for that sort of thing. Um, and I noticed that everyone else that stocks it, and it is quite widely stocked, has it for yeah nineteen ninety nine a metre. So that's quite a big difference. So I snapped that up, and so yeah, I don't think I'll be turning it into anything too exciting, um, but it will certainly be good basics at some point. Uh, what have I got next? Uh, this I bought in my local Abercorn in Altrincham. Um, I mean, is it very me? I don't know. So you can see this has been pre-washed as well. So it is a, is that upside down? No, it's a cotton and it has a sort of cross stitch print of birds. And I bought it when my mum asked me to make her a nighty, which I have now made and is winging its way over to Germany as we speak. In fact, it's late. Um, and I thought if she liked that, I might make another one out of this because, um, you know, fabrics at Abercorn's are very inexpensive. Um, I can't remember how much I paid for it. It's one of those where you buy per weight. Um, but yeah, I thought she might like a night out of that. And then I looked at it and I thought, you know, a shirt out of it might be quite nice as well. And I seemed, I think there's a fair bit there. Um, she's not very tall, my mum, so a nighty won't take too much fabric. Um, so yeah, I think that's what I'll do with that. I don't think that's quite as high up on the list of things that I'm going to sew with soon. Um, but yeah, mustn't forget it. Three more to go. Uh, the next thing is this black denim that I bought during the So, is it called Sew Up North? Yeah, the Leeds meetup, which I went on a couple of weeks ago, is this uh, black denim fabric. Because I was, so I bought this from B&M Fabrics, which is, uh, well, this was from the market stall in Kirkdale Market. And I was just saying to Amy, who I went with, who is a uh, normal kitchen on Instagram and lives literally three minutes away from me around the corner. And uh, we didn't know each other until the joys of sewing on Instagram. So yeah, another reason to get involved in the sewing community because you meet people who live literally, we could have passed each other on the way to the co-op many times um, and she's lovely. So anyway, I was just saying to Amy, the only thing I could really do with is some denim that's proper black, 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 black. I'd fancy making a pair of denim jeans and, you know, quite often with um, black denim, it's not really black. It's, you know, it's going to fade and uh, yeah, I'm sure this will fade, but at least it's um, started off proper black. Um, and although we'll have the dog hair problem, of course. And just as I was saying it to her, I looked over and there was somebody holding this denim and buying some. So I swooped in and bought some more. It has got a bit of stretch. Is it? Oh yeah, a tiny bit of stretch. So I don't think that's enough. Well, it's definitely not enough to make um, 
something like a pair of ginger jeans that needs a stretch um, fabric but it certainly give you that kind of comfort stretch so I have I did make a pair of Morgan jeans um, that is that closet case patterns I think it is same company anyway um, and they looked absolutely dreadful on me I'm not sure whether I go back and try and get that right which is probably the right thing to do or whether I'll just look at something else there's the dawn jeans I fancy doing and there's another one um are they called Philippa or something I don't know but yeah so definitely want to make a pair of jeans out of this and that I want to do fairly soon before it turns to the summer um so bought that and I can't remember how much it was but B&M in general are pretty reasonable on prices so I don't think it would have been too much okay so here is the penultimate one. I bought some fabric from Lamazi Fabrics online that I am currently halfway through making a dress from. Um, so I will, uh, that will be on my next vlog. I'll show you that. Um, I'm quite pleased with it. But while I was ordering from them, you know what it's like. You're ordering from a website and you think, well, while I'm here and paying for the postage, I might as well order something else. I mean, with Lamazi, that actually doesn't make any difference because what I was ordering was already going to get free postage. Anyway, I bought this and it, it well, I guess it's kind of floral, which is, it's not really. Um, it is this viscose fabric, um, which has got this print on it. I've said before, I do like prints, but I'm kind of fussy. I think I prefer a more abstract print. I'm not massively floral. And this I really liked. And this, I know what I want to make out of this. I definitely want to make a shirt dress out of this. And um, yeah, that's going to get bumped up the list pretty quickly because I like shirt dresses for this time of year. So that is definitely going to become a shirt dress soon. Don't know which one yet, though. I don't want one that has a gathered waist because, because I've got a tummy. Anything with a gathered waist really makes it look even worse than it is and um yeah i don't want that but i do want a kind of midi length one and i do want one that has more of an a-line skirt so i'll just have to do a bit of research and see what there is i find style are good for shirt dresses but i'm sure there are others and then last but not least oh dear it's coat fabric and i'll tell you not only have I just put a coat to one side because it's driving me nuts, I am also halfway through making another one that I just couldn't resist. And that one I'm enjoying. So do I have room in my life for any more coat fabric or any more coat making? No. Could I resist this fabric? No. So, saw it on Instagram. Instagram is a killer, I tell you. It is from Textile Express and it is not even on their website anymore, but they have others very similar. And it, let me have a look. It is 100% wool and it is called Moon. And there were various different types. They all had Yorkshire names. There was a Dewsbury and um, what else was there? Saltaire and all sorts of different types anyway this was called calderdale and i like it because it's green and i said before that um yeah i love green and but i also liked the fact that it was a very traditional tweedy kind of a print or oh, not a print it's woven um but it has that uh purpley mauvey color and the red going through it and i so it just gave it a little extra touch that i i really like and um, there is a coat pattern I really like as well. But at the moment, I think I may just pause on coats. So whether it gets made soon or not, I don't know. So that's all the fabric I've got in the last little while, which is uh, clearly more than enough for one person. Um, I would really appreciate it if you'd let me know whether you enjoy fabric haul videos or not. I'm, I'm never too sure. Um, is it nice to see the fabric or do you think, oh, just show me the thing when you've made it? Um, I'd really appreciate it if you would let me know in the comments below. 
And if you've enjoyed this video or any others of mine, um, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, that would be fabulous. And click the notification button so that you are notified when I'm back. And in the meantime, thank you very much. I will be back pretty soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.